Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is Lena. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you something really striking and simple and beautiful. Uh, Tom Ford electric cherry makeup stuff. So traditionally uh, Tom Ford always uh, brings out some corresponding makeup items with their new fragrance lunch and uh, this year, this spring they have uh, two more cherry uh, scented fragrances. One is called Electric Cherry, which I chose the uh, makeup items for. And another one is Cherry Smoke. Uh, cherry Smoke looked more sultry. It is in the regular uh, pressed powder formulation and it is more like sultry, uh, smoky kind of look, uh, but I thought it might look a little bit muddy on my complexion. So I went with uh, Electric Cherry. So bit of a journey to get my hands on this set. Uh, initially, I ordered mine from Selfridges. Uh, Selfridges had this items uh, first. Now they're gone. Maybe a lipstick is still available, but they just sold out so quickly. So I was uh, able to order mine and a couple days later, uh, they emailed me saying that for some reason, we cannot locate your stock. We cannot complete your uh, order. So they just sent the lipstick. Then um, it became briefly available on Nordstrom and I was barely able to get my hands on and get my quad. And it's probably my second time paying for the full price for Tom Ford eyeshadow quad. I like my Tom Ford makeup, but I don't really enjoy paying for the full price, especially the US price is much higher than the European uh, prices. So I think uh, this is uh, the second time I've paid for the full price. The first time was uh, for the Metal Lust, and I love Metal Lust quad, so that was totally worth it. And I think it's kind of worth it this time because I really like this eyeshadow quad. So let me show you this eyeshadow. Uh, this is in the classic Tom Ford uh, wet dry formulation. You can wet this formula uh, for more intense color payoff. You can just use it dry for a softer, more blended look. I don't really wet my eyeshadows. Uh, so. I just use it dry, but the formulation is really, really beautiful. It just uh, practically blends itself. And I really like the color story as well. Uh, there are some taupe and muted pink and plummy shade and beautiful shimmery uh, cherry shade. All four shades are shimmery, but not overly so. And this one lacks a uh, glittery topper shade. So I kind of wish that there is one glittery shade or this uh, plummy uh, color or was deeper uh, for uh, more depth or something but this is very easy to wear and you can get beautifully blended uh, muted red pink eyeshadow look uh, i think it's really a uh, great uh, quality and uh, the lipstick is in the uh, formulation of ultra shine lip color so this is more like a glossy, uh, you know, a moisturizing, hydrating uh, lip formulation. So um, I don't really think it's ideal to have uh, this bright uh, color in that juicier formulation because it can uh, bleed a little bit. But uh, it's not just slippery. There is a little bit of grip uh, to the lip kind of feeling. So it will stay on and because of this bright color, it will stain your lips a little bit. So longevity and wearing is uh, quite okay for uh, how bright uh, this color is. So overall awesome quality and beautiful color. Uh, it's just a matter of your preference. Do you like really bright uh, red lip color? Do you like pinkish reddish eyeshadow colors? Uh, for me, I didn't think I liked uh, red pink eyeshadows too much, but lately uh, dealing with so many different tones uh, and finishes of red pink eyeshadows, I became to embrace them. I became to enjoy them uh, even more. So I think I, I like them a lot now. I'm not gonna complain about uh, reddish pinkish eyeshadows anymore. So uh, yeah, I really think uh, this is a great uh, set and this kind of completes my red pink eyeshadow collections as well. So now I'd like to show you my swatches and after that I will do my look demonstration showing you how I easily created this look using the simple set. So I hope you guys enjoy.
I'm going to start with basing my lids using the softer pink shade here. So as always, I use this wispy uh, crease blending brush from Zoeva. It's a shame this brush has been discontinued. I love this brush. Using a small packer brush, I'm going to uh, use this deepest plummy color and really apply that on my mobile lids. No powder kick up, and it's beautiful. Using a blender brush, I'm going to use this taupe shade and blend everything out. And it's that easy. After this, I think the eye makeup is basically done. Maybe I will add a little bit of depth uh, to the outer corners, but this is it. Very, very easy to wear. I think I'm going to add some eyeliners, uh, then uh, deepen the outer corners after that. I'm going to use a dark gray eyeliner today. This is the Chanel eyeliner number 44. This is a limited edition shade, but I really hope Chanel makes this color permanent because it's really unique and beautiful, wearable. When it first came out, I got afraid and I got two. I have a backup of this, thank God. Using a detail brush, I'm going to use this beautiful cherry shade and add this on the outer corners, a little bit along my lower lash lines. Maybe one last touch, so let's go back to this beautiful pink shade and go for that little bit hazy, blurred pink look. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and add some mascara. Today I'm using Lancome Hypnose Drama Waterproof Mascara. So the eye look is complete, now let's add some blush, but I'd like to use this cherry shade as my blush color today. And I'm using very light uh, squirrel hair brush, this is Wayne Goss airbrush. I hope this comes back in stock as well because it's really handy for applying a uh, saturated bright blush. I like to add a little bit of highlighter, so using my old version of Mood Light and just using the highlighter part. Now time for the lip color. Uh, honestly, I think glossy, lighter lip gloss or lip balm would look beautifully with this eye look, but since I have the matching electric cherry uh, lipstick, uh, let's apply that. This is a very brightening, juicy uh, cherry red, cool tone red. Let me soften the lip lines a little bit.
so this is the finished makeup look i hope you enjoy this makeup demo i really like this look i've been wearing this eyeshadow quads uh, quite often lately i think it's striking because of the color story obviously but it's really easy to get here kind of uh, makeup look just uh, the colors are really easy to blend and uh, i don't really need to do much with this uh, set so I like that and initially I thought this might be very close to uh, my Guerlain uh, set red Vanda set that also has a very striking red uh, pink eyeshadows and red lipstick but because of the different uh, tones and a little bit of different finishes they're quite different they're unique in my collection maybe I'm a little bit crazy um, but uh, this one kind of completes my red uh, pink eyeshadow collection so I'm not going to buy anything new anytime soon but you know uh, how things can go uh, we'll see about that but anyway thank you very much for watching this video and spending your time with me I really appreciate it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you can I hope to see you guys in my next video bye